Before threading, make sure your presser foot is up and the take-up lever is visible. If the take-up lever is not visible, move the hand wheel towards you until the take-up lever is visible. Place your spool of thread on the spool pin and set your spool cap in place. Holding your thread in both hands, place the thread in the first guide from front to back. Bring the thread down through this channel, then around the U-turn, then back up to the right of the take-up lever, and then bring your thread to the left and down the other side of the take-up lever, so the thread is visibly in the eye of the take-up lever. Bring the thread down to the needle area, place the thread behind this first thread guide, then behind this second thread guide, just above the needle. To use your needle threader, first bring your thread around this hook, push the needle threader lever all the way down, bring the thread in front of the needle between the guides around the needle, then release the needle threader to get a small loop in the back of your needle. Pull the loop and place the thread under the foot. Now it's time to test the stitch. Place a piece of fabric under the presser foot, lower the presser foot, and step on the foot control to start sewing. Check to make sure your stitch looks good on both sides like this. If the back of your fabric looks like this, you will want to re-thread the top of your machine and make sure you are holding the thread taut while threading to securely put it in the tension discs. To change the needle, first turn off the power to the machine. Make sure the needle is in its highest position. If not, turn the hand wheel towards you. Place a piece of paper under the foot to keep the needle from accidentally falling into the machine and lower the presser foot to have more room by the needle. Take the small screwdriver from your accessories Hold the needle in your left hand and loosen the needle clamp screw with the screwdriver on the right by turning it towards you. Take your new needle with the flat side towards the back and place it up into the needle clamp as far as it will go. Use the screwdriver to tighten the clamp securely we recommend replacing the needle every six to eight hours of sewing time. 